Hello everyone and welcome back to the reading alchemist. This is going to be a book on haul video, so stay tuned. I actually have never done a book on haul before. I don't even know if I've done any sort of a book on haul any form of my life. I think I may have in the past, but that was before I had this booktube channel. And so now that I have this booktube channel, we have acquired a lot of books. And some of the books that I've actually read that I will be unhauling for you today are books that I have read and have liked in the past but don't foresee myself rereading them. Some of these books I've read and have just not liked or don't think they're for me or I could easily see myself reading more of those books but in a different format. One where I don't have to own the books physically in order to read the books. I don't know how many books we're gonna unhaul today. Um, I may count them up the end, but let's get into them. I have a whole box of books that I'm going to unhaul, so I'm just going to be pulling them out. The first book we are going to be unhauling is Prodigal Father by Ma Ralph McInery. This is a book that I just don't think that I'm interested in. And it looks like it's one of those mystery thriller books. And while I do like mystery thriller type books, um, this one just kind of doesn't seem like it'd be one for me. I would probably find that if I did read this, while I do like mystery thrillers, that I'd probably give this probably three stars and would eventually unhaul it later. So I'm just going to save myself the difference and unhaul it. Now I'm not really interested in reading it anytime soon and it would just be collecting dust on my bookshelf if I kept the video now. So we're going to unhaul it. The next book we are going to unhaul is Just as Studios Presents also Ultra Squad by Julia DeVillers and Raphael Rosado, I don't think I'm interested in this. Um, while it's a graphic novel and be really e quick and easy to get through, I don't, I don't, it's not like this is for me. I think this is too young for me. So I'm just going to pass this book along to someone whose reading is at this level and who would enjoy it a lot more than I would. And if that's the case with my ring and I'm just reading to eventually unhaul books later to give them to someone who's going to like them, then so be it. So yeah, we're unhauling this one. The next book we are unhauling is Crystal Doors by Rebecca Moesta and Kevin J. Anderson. Uh, the reason why I'm giving this book an unhaul is it's kind of like Particle Father. This is a middle grade book and while I do read middle grade books, it kind of depends on the story. For me and this one I don't think I'm going to like and I got this book for free too so it doesn't hurt me to unhaul this book so I'm gonna go ahead and give this book an unhaul. The next book we have here is That Summer by Sarah Dessen. I've read this book multiple times before I even had this YouTube channel and that was before I was reading books in a while. I enjoyed this in the past. Who knows if I would really enjoy this now. This is a YA contemporary romance. I think even when I read it, there's like hardly any spice in this book. And I just don't think I would like it. And I can easily pass along to somebody else. I've read it m multiple times. Because back in the beginning, I didn't have a lot of books that I like owned. And I mainly checked out a lot of books from the library. So yeah, I'm going to be unhauling this book. I'm pretty certain someone out there, people would like to get their hands on this book and read it. The next book that I'm going to be unhauling is the unofficial Harry Potter joke book 
Great Gulfs for Gryffindor by Brian Boone, illustrated by Amanda Breck. I'm going to be giving this book an on-haul. It's a joke book. It'd be one of those books that I would just read and be like, huh, that was fun. I probably even wouldn't rate it on Goodreads. And I would never read again. It's a joke book. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this book an on-haul. The next book that I am on-hauling kind of hurts, but it's actually okay. And that is Laurel and Piss Volume 6 the Barnes Noble exclusive. I have another copy I've already read. I accidentally bought two copies of this book, so I'm going to be getting rid of my duplicate copy. This is the duplicate. Have I have already read this. Laura Olympus is my one of my favorite graphic novel series. It is a Hades and Persephone retelling. I have already read this book and I'm giving it five stars and I will be unhauling my duplicate. The next book that we are unhauling is The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. I read this book close to when it came out. 2019, yeah. I've, I've read this book close to when it came out. I think I read this in the beginning of 2020. I have read The Night Circus and this book by Aaron Morenstern before, and these are the type of books where I don't see myself rereading them after I've already read them. I, The Night Circus and The Starless Sea, um, between the two, I like The Night Circus more then the Starless Sea. This book is quite confusing. And I think if I were rating books, this book would probably get a 3.5 stars for me. And The Night Circus by Aaron Morrison would get a 4. And I'd be more inclined to keep that one over this one. Not my favorite. I do did like the writing style in this book. However, because this book is, like, not, like, it's, it almost falls like the book within a book, about a book, very confusing. If you've read this book, you'll know exactly what I mean, but it, I've read it, I think it was okay when I read it. I don't think I'm going to reread it again, so I'm not going to haul it. The next book that I'm going to be unhauling is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Which, when I read this book, I gave it four stars, but there wasn't any quotes in this book that I could see myself tapping later, future down the line. I don't know if Emily Henry is the author for me, as while I liked this book and did give it four stars, I've read Better Romance, and... It doesn't need to be sitting on my bookshelves if I know I'm never going to reread it. So, you can go. The next book that I'm going to be unhauling is Verity by Colleen Hoover. This, while I did give this four stars for how compelling this book was, in, in hindsight for what it was, I shouldn't have liked this book. And I don't think that I'm going to ever reread this book. And with that context, why is it sitting, sitting on my bookshelf if... I'm not going to like this book, and then why is it sitting on my bookshelf if I'm not going to reread it? So it can go. The next book that we are going to be unhauling is The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. I read this book actually earlier last year in November, and I gave it three and a half stars. I, this book was meh to me. In terms of a book, it took me a really long time to get into this book. And while I did like the writing style, there was only like one character in this book that I really truly enjoyed. The rest I thought were meh. And because I couldn't really find the audiobook for this book, it was really hard for me to get into it. I don't know if I'm going to be continuing with this series or the First Law universe, but if I do decide to, it will most likely be in ebook form. So I don't need to own this. The next book we are going to be unhauling is The Alchemist, The Secret of the Immortal Nicholas Fumel. I've read this entire book series in the past and I really enjoyed it. However, Upon reread, since I did buy this physical copy to reread it, I reread it last year and I gave this book three and a half stars. 
on reread. And when I was in YA grade years, I read this book for the first time and really enjoyed it and continued with the series. And upon reread, it gets a, like a lower rating for me or, win or a lower feeling. I know I'm probably not going to continue with the series. So my thing is, why do I need to physically own it? So I can go. The next book that I'm going to be on hauling is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. This book, I ended up giving three and a half stars when I read this book at the beginning of the year. I like this book for what it was, but I don't see myself rereading this book. And over the course of me reading this book, I didn't find any quotes that I wanted to have. So on that basics, why do I need to own the book anymore if I know it's going to be on hold at a later date when I can just unhaul it now. So we're not on this book. The next book that I am unhauling kind of hurts and that is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I really like Rainbow Rowell's Carry On series and Fangirl by, Ru by, Ra by, by Rainbow Rowell, but this book I didn't really enjoy. I thought it was okay. I ended up giving it three and a half stars when I read it. But it just, it never really clicked for me. And I think it's because this is a YA contemporary. And sometimes those books hit or miss for me. Because I'm not, I'm not a YA person anymore myself. So there's really nothing I can really click to. So, three and a half stars. While Rainbow Rowell is a favorite author, I would consider it. I don't want to physically own um, this book and I kind of want to pretend it doesn't exist. It's a standalone anyways. I kind of want to pretend it doesn't exist and it doesn't really fit in with my other books by Rainbow Rowell. It doesn't really fit so I'm be unhauling this. The next two books that I'm going to be unhauling kind of are a pair and that is Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell and Ocean's Echo by Everina Maxwell. I really liked Winter's Orbit when I read this book. I ended up reading it like two years ago and I think I gave it four stars and this book I read last year at the beginning February March time period and I ended up like starting this book in February and not finishing it until end of April beginning of May. So this was one of my last books that I read for really um spring. So this was an April read and I started in February. It took me two months to get to read this book and I read this book in like four days. I can't tell you what this book is about now and neither can I tell you what Winter's Orbit is about. I liked Winter's Orbit better than I liked this book and therefore I don't need to own either of these. The next book we are going to be unhauling is A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. This is a middle grade book and middle grade right now is hit or miss for me. Some middle grades I absolutely love like Marion Knight Brothers, Nevermore, Keeper of the Lost Cities. Those middle grade books I really enjoy and there are some that I read and go eh. I'm not the target audience for that book anymore and A Pinch of Magic is definitely one of them. If I do continue with this series, I don't need to continue with them physically, so I will be unhauling A Pinch of Magic. The next book that I will be unhauling is Fruits Basket Volume 1 by Natsuki Takia. Takia is a collector's edition, so I believe it's the first, like, three volumes of this manga series. I end up giving this volume bind up we'll call it three and a half stars i found it to be okay but not like the top tier anime and i think i've tried to watch the actual anime and i haven't continued or have thought about watching it since i tried it like years ago i think back when i was in middle school i tried to watch this anime Watched like a couple of episodes and didn't pick up on it since I haven't picked up on it now. With that logic, since I didn't even like 
the actual manga itself, we can go ahead and unhaul this. The next book we are going to be unhauling is Claude Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doerr. I read this book last year in February, and I ended up giving this book three and a half stars. This book, weird. And by weird, I mean weird. It's like magical realism, speculative fiction, sci-fi. We are everywhere in this book. And by everywhere, I mean everywhere. And not only are there time jumps in this book, which I'm okay with, there are also period jumps. And they're like back to back. Like for a chapter, we're here in Constantinople in 1452. Another chapter were in, in a library in 2020. Another chapter were in the future or were in Idaho like the early 2000s or the 1940s and 50s. So many time jumps, I was so confused while reading this book. I, I don't know if Anthony Doerr is an author for me. I may try All the Light We Cannot See, which is his other book, but I don't need to physically own this book. I do not think I will reread this book. The other book, the second to last book that we are unhauling is Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. Um, I've had this book quite on my shelves, so a couple of years ago it was a TBR vet. And then I picked this book up last year, and I didn't really enjoy this. Um, one thing for me that is somewhat of a trigger warning is domestic violence and rape. And this book didn't have a foreword at the beginnings with the triggers. And I didn't find out that there was domestic violence and rape in this book until I was actually reading this book. And while I decided to power through and read this book, since from the description of the book, it sounds like it's like a, like a sports book. And I do like sports romance books, but apparently I only like sports romance books. And I don't really like other books with sports, unless it's like haiku or like a manga. But yeah, I don't need to physically own this book. I don't even know if I'm going to continue with this series at this point in time, but I'm not right now. So, no. And then the final book that we are unhauling is The Rise of Kiyoshi um, by FCE with author co- with Avatar co-creator Michael Dante DiMatteo. I really like Avatar, Blast Airbender, and Legend of Korra. And I was actually reading this book while I was doing my rewatch of Avatar The Last Airbender, and I was on season three, book three, which fire, which is my absolute favorite. And all I wanted was that Avatar, and not Kiyoshi, which is really weird, since it's like the same universe just set in the past. Um, this may have been a time issue for this read. This may be a time issue thing. So for right now, it's an unhaul. Um, if I pick up the other couple of books in this series slash universe, um, I'm probably going to do so in my ebook. But I don't need to physically own this book. And if I wind up liking those books and give, like, one of those books five stars, I may repurchase this book again. But for right now, it's an unhaul. So, those are all of my books that I am unhauling for right now. I'm thinking I'm probably going to take these books to either my local 
library when they do their book sale or I'm going to be taking this books to a local charity top. I haven't fully set up a Pango account yet so I'm not going to be putting those books on that list. I think I'm just going to take them to the charity bookshop and probably get some money back for them is what I'm going to do for right now and maybe in the future set up a Pango account for you. So thank you guys so much and Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more bookish content from me. Um, if you guys don't like the books and I'm unhauling or I end up unhauling your favorite book, that's okay. I'm mainly just unhauling these books to not only make space for others, but to let somebody else read these books who may not have access to a library of their own. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, we are the one within the all, and I will see you guys with whatever comes next.